Okay, here's another example of collider bias or Bergson's paradox. Why is it that most people believe that attractive people are more likely to be mean than nice? Well, let's assume that people are classified by their looks as either attractive or not attractive. And let's suppose that their personality is either nice or mean. Now, the problem is that you will generally date somebody for either their looks or their personality, at least one of them. So the people that you might date are, well, if you're very lucky, you'll date a small number of attractive, nice people. You'll date lots of attractive and not nice people and lots of unattractive but nice people. The people you generally will not date will be the unattractive and mean people. So the people you date who are attractive, which are these guys here, are more likely to be mean than nice. And therefore, positive association between being attractive and mean is just an illusion. It's because mean people are overrepresented in the sample of people that you date. Let's just suppose in reality that there's an equal number of attractive and mean people, attractive and nice people, unattractive and nice people, and unattractive and mean people. That represents the reality. There is no association between attractiveness and meanness. Now, as far as who you might date are concerned, there'll be some of those, there'll be some of those, very few of those, because you're not gonna be that lucky, and even less of the unattractive and mean. And these are the attractive people that you date. And so therefore, that's your perception of the set of attractive people. And of course, most of those are mean. And hence, you get the paradox. And in conclusion, then, this paradox occurs when we rely on a data set which overrepresents some subjects and underrepresents others. And in the case of personality and looks, the paradox simply led us to conclude that for two unrelated factors, one has a causal influence on the other.